Aside from body fat and muscle, understanding your body's water composition is also crucial for maintaining optimal health and fitness. And with the InBody Body Water Results Sheet, you can gain valuable insights and a better understanding of your body water status. Before delving into interpreting the Body Water Results Sheet, let's take a moment to understand what is total body water. Total body water is the total amount of water inside your body and it makes up the largest percentage of your body weight. Body water is vital for maintaining overall health and functionality and some of its key roles include transportation of nutrients, waste removal, temperature regulation and joint lubrication. Now, you might be wondering, what should your body water percentage be? So, on average, adult men will have around 60% body water while adult women will have around 55% body water. This difference is largely due to the variations in body composition as women tend to have more body fat which contains less water compared to lean body mass. But besides gender and body composition, factors such as age and physical activity can also influence body water percentages. But a better gauge of healthy body water distribution is your ratio of extracellular water to your total body water, also known as ECW ratio, which we will discuss later in this video. So let's first understand what is extracellular water and intracellular water. Total body water is actually made up of two compartments, extracellular water and intracellular water. Extracellular water is the water located outside the cells such as blood, plasma and interstitial fluid, while intracellular water is the water located inside the cells such as in the muscle cells. The water distribution in a healthy individual is usually 62% intracellular water and 38% extracellular water. Now that we have a basic understanding of what is total body water, extracellular water and intracellular water, let's learn how to interpret the body water result sheet. Starting from the top of the body water result sheet, there is the body water composition. In this section, you will see total body water represented as TBW, intracellular water represented as ICW, and extracellular water represented as ECW. This section tells you the amount of total body water, intracellular water, and extracellular water that you have in liters and it shows whether each component is in the under, normal, or over category. And as mentioned earlier, a healthy water distribution of ICW to ECW should be in the ratio of 62 to 38. Therefore, if you have a healthy balance of ECW and ICW, the length of the bars in the body water composition would be of the same length. And below the body water composition, you will find the segmental body water analysis which provides information about the amount of body water, both intracellular and extracellular, in all five body segments. Following the segmental body water analysis, the ECW ratio analysis provides insights into the distribution of extracellular water relative to total body water. This analysis helps to determine whether the water distribution within the body is well balanced. Looking at this result sheet as an example, the value of 0.398 indicates the ECW ratio, which is calculated by dividing the amount of extracellular water by the total body water. So, what should be the normal range for ECW ratio and what does it mean? As mentioned earlier, the ideal ECW for a healthy population is around 38% and when we convert it to a ratio, it becomes 0.38. Using this ideal value, the normal reference range is defined as 0.36 to 0.39 to indicate a well-balanced water ratio. A low ECW ratio below 0.36 indicates high muscle mass 
which is due to the increase in ICW stored in the muscles. Meanwhile, a high ECW ratio above 0.39 could indicate edema or water retention in the body, which is caused by an increase in ECW. It is important to pay more attention to this high ECW ratio as the excess water retention could be due to various health conditions such as heart failure and kidney disease. The excess water retention could also be due to inflammation or injury. Besides that, a high ECW ratio can also indicate malnutrition or aging because the loss of muscle causes a decrease in ICW. So, if your ECW ratio is above the normal range, it is important to thoroughly check the causes to determine whether it is due to high ECW or low ICW. Continuing from the ECW ratio analysis, you can also find your segmental ECW ratio here, which is useful for identifying any body segments that may be experiencing circulation issues. These circulation issues could be due to health conditions, injury, post-surgery, or peripheral edema. Now, let's take a look at the first example. In this example, you can see all the body segments have a normal ECW ratio, which indicates a balanced water distribution throughout the body. However, for these two examples, the ECW ratio of one limb is higher than the other limb. In example 2, you can see the ECW ratio for the left arm is higher than the ECW ratio of the right arm. And in example 3, you can see that the ECW ratio of the right leg is higher than the ECW ratio of the left leg. By comparing the differences of the ECW ratio between corresponding limbs, we can pinpoint potential circulation issues. These issues, marked by significant differences in ECW ratio, may arise from various factors such as medical conditions, injuries, or musculoskeletal disorders. Meanwhile, in example 4, you can see that the ECW ratio on the lower parts of the body, which are the trunk, right leg and left leg are in the over range and higher than the ECW ratio of the arms. By comparing the ECW ratio between the upper and lower body, we can identify issues such as peripheral edema or lack of muscles. To determine the cause, whether it's edema or muscle loss, we need to look at the body water composition and segmental body water analysis. If it's edema, there will be an increase in extracellular water and the body water in the affected body segments will be significantly higher. However, if it's muscle loss, we'll see a decrease in intracellular water and the body water in the affected body segments will be significantly lower. At the very bottom of the result sheet, there is the body water composition history that can help you keep track of your body water composition changes over time. Detecting subtle changes in body water composition early on can help identify potential health issues before they escalate, allowing for timely intervention and management. In conclusion, maintaining a balanced ICW to ECW ratio of approximately 62 to 38 is ideal for optimal health as this ratio can be a reflection of your overall body composition and lifestyle. However, if you find that the ratio is beginning to fall out of balance, it is important to check the causes for further intervention.